Good afternoon, I'm Daniele Stregaro, a PhD candidate at the University of Pavia. With this short presentation, I'm going to show you some key points of the article I will be glad if you could take a look at. This research is part of the Simla Interreg project. Water resources are gaining more and more interest, in particular in the context of the water-food nexus concept, where it's clear how water resources are fundamental for economy, food, tourism, and how they are mutually connected to each other. In this research, we focus on lakes, in particular Lake Lugano, which is affected by climate changes. It is stressed also by human activities. In fact, since the 70s, a mitigation and monitoring program is active, aimed at increasing the quality and the sustainability of this resource. 40 years old, time series data exist, and with the similar project, new sources of information are now available such as the automatic high frequency monitoring system, which has been installed since November 2020. The problem that this research tried to solve is the lack of integration of all this data in order to fully exploit their potential and by that help researchers and decision makers. On Lake Lugano, there are three areas named Ficino, Pelito and Gandria, where every two weeks monitoring campaigns are performed by limnologists. They usually make measurements by manually lower down probes or by taking water samples which are then analyzed in laboratory. In addition to that, and as anticipated in the previous slide, an, an automatic high frequency monitoring system has been deployed at Figino. It collects data every minute, it aggregates them every 10 minutes and transmits in real time to the data warehouse every 15 minutes. It measures water oxygen, temperature and concentration of chlorophyll A and Ficochan at six different depths as well as weather parameters. If the data from the automatic high frequency monitoring system are automatically archived, the other data lies in different formats such as access databases, Excel or TXT files. The idea is to build something that can bring together all these sources using East source as core component in order to make them available using the sensor observation service of the Open Geospatial Consortium. In order to offer a unique entry point, it was necessary to create a system that can import data. To this end, the WebAssembly technology has been tested and used by creating scripts in Rust language that can import data from probe profiles and the results of the laboratory analysis. Once the historical data have been imported, they are extracted, transformed and loaded by using Python scripts that can calculate some physical indicators of lake status, such as the Smith stability, the epilimnion temperature, the thermocline depth, the bouillons of frequency and others. Such plugin follows the Lake Analyzer library, which is originally written in MATLAB. It has been rewritten from scratch using Python for technical reasons and also to offer to the, to the community a tool based on an open source language. And now the conclusions. This work wants to describe a fully open web solution to, this, to fulfill the gap in data integration and digitalization that are currently affecting some sectors of the water monitoring. To this end, the SOS of the Open Geospatial Consortium has been used to integrate and offer data in a standardized way. Once integrated with different sources, the plugin developed following the Lake Analyzer library has been used to calculate physical indicators. The open technology used helped in developing such an automatic system and in offering a tool, a tool to decision makers and to resourcers to better manage and understand their new dynamics and facing the new challenges into which lakes are more and more exposed. The software developed is released under the GNU GPL version 3 license and is available at the link that you can see in the slide. And thank you for your attention.